Ooh, ooh. Welcome back to the Rock Cloud channel and today we're going to activate the Motorola Razor Smart Flip Phone Generation 1. Okay, you can activate it only by an eSIM. It does not have a SIM card slot. It does not take an external SIM card. Okay, no slot, no external storage, anything like that. Okay, when you flip open the phone, you power it on, you get the high there. Okay, you're going to first tap on start. Okay, and it comes up with a message saying, Connect to mobile network. Start SIM free setup. Connect to network by downloading an eSIM. So you have to download your SIM from your service provider, which in this case is Verizon. Okay, so I'm going to continue by tapping on the SIM download. SIM free setup. If your mobile network uses SIM free setup, you'll get calls, text, downloads, eSIM instead of inserting a SIM card. But you can't insert a SIM card anyway. Okay, so you have to click next here because you have no other option. Okay. It's connecting to Wi-Fi. So after you connect to Wi-Fi, the phone will go out. It'll check for a bunch of updates, see if there's anything available. Um, and you come up with this message that pretty much just says copy your apps and data. Uh, so we're going to tap next here. Okay, bring your data from a backup from an Android phone. A backup from the cloud or an iPhone device. So I'm going to select a backup from the cloud. Okay, so after signing in with your Google account, you could just say, I agree. Checking account info, getting information. Okay, and it found a backup. Okay, uh, found a backup six days ago, May 7th, and one from three hours ago. So I'm going to go with the three hour window. Okay, and to continue, you'll need to confirm your old. Uh, phone screen lock on the next screen so when you click next it's probably going to ask us to type in the code of that phone and once we do that we could click confirm okay and we could choose what we want to restore which is pretty cool so we do have uh, SMS messages uh, contacts apps call history very nice feature hopefully it works <laughs> Okay, so I want everything that I do see here that's checked and enabled already, so I'm going to click Restore. And it says Restoring. To continue setting up your phone, blah, blah, blah. Just wait a second. Google Services. And we do want to back up to uh, Google Drive to make sure that we can, again, move the uh, information to another phone if we have to. Okay, you should deselect the options that you do not want and click Accept on the bottom. Checking network info. Okay, next, so you will receive a code. Okay, you will receive a QR code from Verizon. As you'll see here on my screen, right? It's the activation key. You just scan that, that QR. And it'll come up on your screen hey, are you ready to add your phone number to this phone and use Verizon? So it is kind of that simple, but it is a process because you have to contact Verizon and have them email you the eSIM to get this phone properly connected to the network. Right, so I did continue with that process, and now it says adding your number to this phone. We're getting your number from Verizon, and it can take some time, okay, because nothing is going to be quick and easy, of course, right? So you get the QR code, you scan it, it gets to this process, it moves your phone number to this device, which is what we're currently doing. Okay, the QR is a use once code. Okay, so 
somebody couldn't scan your code and then move your phone number and you know cause all sorts of problem with you so it does expire and it's a use once code okay the message now says phone number added okay so we should be getting service I'm gonna say next for now I'm going to skip the fingerprint options and I'm gonna set a screen lock code okay and that's basically it looks like we're connected anything else you know call Verizon etc I'm gonna say no thanks okay so next when you connect to the Verizon services I do disable the information that they want to collect on the device I'm not with that you click OK and same thing with this security and privacy they want to scan my photos media files and text messages not so certain what that's going to do to my battery time so I'm going to disable that as well okay accept and continue the uh, privacy you have no other option there okay and that should do it ready to go your phone is set up and ready to use you can change your device preferences at any time in device settings it looks like it's connected to Verizon but we'll make a test call and check it out okay and next you'll have your phone activated on the Verizon network you'll see the 4G symbol light up on the top right okay and then you're simply gonna make a test call here okay and there's my test call okay I'm making call out it's ringing my other phone and that's it we have success we finally got the Motorola Razor connected to the Verizon network successfully working but also keep your eye out for the Razor 2 that will be 5G on the Verizon network so check it out Rock Cloud thanks for watching please subscribe I'm out.